End of arm tooling is an essential component to every robotic application. Serving as the hand of the robotic arm, end of arm tooling handles objects in a very specific way based on application requirements. Grippers can vary wildly based on the application. Things like gripper components, power, size, shape, and weight are all dependent on the specific use case. For example, when palletizing bags of flour from a conveyor belt to a pallet, you might want to use a pneumatic fork bag gripper to securely handle and place that bag. But if you're tending a CNC machine, a precision electric two finger gripper could be the best solution. So when you're deciding on end arm tool for your next robotic application, we developed some basic considerations to think about before you get started. So we'll start with application. The first step in the decision-making process is to fully understand the task at hand. Will the robot be handing delicate or soft items? What about heavy objects that demand a firm grip? Lots of end-of-arm tooling manufacturers specialize in application-specific or entirely custom grippers for unique applications. Different grippers naturally excel at different tasks and material types. So whether your application is to pick and place, palletize, weld, or something else entirely, you'll want to get this squared away and understand before answering the next few questions. Next up is power. So consider whether your end of our tool will use pneumatic, electric, or hydraulic power. Pneumatic grippers are lightweight, fast, offer strong gripping forces using compressed air. Electric grippers offer precise control, are the most energy efficient option, and can be the easiest to integrate into applications. Whereas pneumatic grippers offer advantages in speed and strength, electric grippers generally consume less energy and are more precise, ideally suited for light duty applications. Finally, hydraulic grippers are used for really heavy duty applications. They consume a lot of energy and are often seen as specialized applications in industries like automotive, construction, metalworking, lifting really heavy parts. Next up is payload. Ensuring the robot and gripper can handle the item's weight and strength is critical. Additionally, the gripper must apply enough force to securely hold the object without causing any damage. This dictates on whether you use an encapsulated grip which surrounds the object for full support, which is ideal for fragile or irregularly shaped items, or a friction grip, which relies on pressure to hold the object securely. For example, if we need to palletize 50 kilogram boxes, we'd select a Kawasaki RS series robot that's got an 80 kilogram payload, and probably a, a Zhuling foam gripper with the appropriate friction grip so we can repeatedly lift this payload. Finally, integration. When selecting your end of arm tool, it's, it's essential to consider how you're gonna integrate with the control system along with your data needs. For example, do you do simple discrete IO for basic open close on off functionality, or would you benefit from more advanced IO link communication, which provides detailed feedback like position, force, and health diagnostics. Also, IO link wireless can be a game changer in applications where cabling is a challenge offering flexibility and reducing wear and tear on moving parts. Additionally, integrating predictive maintenance capabilities, monitoring the gripper's condition to prevent downtime, ensures long-term performance. Choosing the right end of arm tooling is key to ensuring optimal performance for your robotic application. By understanding your specific needs and considering these basic factors, you can be better equipped to make a decision. Luckily, Neff Automation has several experienced robotic specialists that can assist you in the process. Let us know how we can help on your next project.